Yes, people, welcome to a brand new episode of Titan Talk. It's your boy Kyojin. As the kid AB, man. We've been on a, a little bit of a break. Um, we haven't uploaded in a minute. Uh, and the reason for that is because we couldn't be bothered. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> We just had we had family commitments. AB had to tend to his kids. His wife said, "His his baby mama said, stop paying your child support, otherwise." <laughs> I'm I'm like Goddamn child support, man! I'm here in the streets, man. Kelvin, no, for, but for real, Kelvin actually had to get married. Um, he made his cousin a very lucky girl, <laughs> I ho- and I hope they live. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not landlord. <laughs> get out of here! I'm not landlord. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's over there, but he can't be catching strays like this. He's too busy <laughs> with his cousin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. But we did we did go to a, a, a wedding. But I'm not gonna like it's just a family wedding. So yeah, if you if you know who it is, just make dua for the the, the new couple in it. May Allah like give them I don't know success and happiness in this next chapter of their life in it. But that's not what we're here to talk about. <laughs> the Euros have started. Come doing? on, England. Come on. As you can see, it's, it's free lies on the shirt. I, obviously, I don't know when this episode is coming out because I don't know when anything is coming out these days. <laughs> but it is uh, let's go. June <laughs> 13th. Uh, English, England just won their first game. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Not gonna lie. Against who? Croatia, the team that beat us in the Semi-final. The semi-final, yeah, yeah of the no. of the World Cup, it broke my heart. They broke my heart, just like in that same year on Love Island, M- Michael broke Amber's heart. England broke my heart as well. Croatia broke my heart. Been the same since. Yeah, I forgot you don't watch Love Island. Didn't it would it would have banged if you if you watched Love Island. Are you gonna watch it this year? No, seriously. No, I well, watch I'm telling you, international football and Love Island makes a ten ten summer, ten ten summer. Oh, well, trust me, man. I- Bro, speaking of summer, yeah, can we can we talk about this heat? Bro, I'm pretty sure I've changed skin colors already, fam. <laughs> no, that I'm complaining. I'm not complaining, but I just it's just fact. I I I love the summer. You know me. I love the summer, but this humidity, there's something about it that just you know, it's not natural. It's not human, but. I prefer it to, you know, those people who are like, oh, this is why I like winter over summer. Yeah, fuck you, man. Who, who I can't lie. Like, Don't tell me you like winter over summer. I can't lie. Like, I, I just like winter and uh, summer, innit? Like, like the spring and autumn are dead to me. If you had to choose one, though, winter or summer? Winter. I was going to say that I need a new co-host, but this is probably why we're co-hosts. You know, I'm a summery person. You're quite a cold no, person. No, but like, I like summer as well, yeah? But in winter, I like the vibe. I like winter vibes, innit? You know what, I mean? what 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 vibes, bro? Bro, it being it being dark at six o'clock, or four yeah, o'clock. I can, lotion, I can lotion with your girl or not? I don't have one, so I don't know who you lotion with. Your Fucking... your cousin. I told you, I'm not landlord, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. See, you see, you see, got to me today. Still, it was 20, 20, it's twenty eight today, Allah. Tw- tw- it was twenty. Yeah, twenty seven. Two seconds. It's twenty. Cool down to twenty six now. One thing I don't like about the summer, yeah, is like, cause you know. I don't really like to wash my hair too much, and I wash it like two or three times a week in it. Mm-hmm. But nowadays, I have to wash it every other day. Like, I don't like that feeling of gunk in my hair, or like my head feeling he- hella heavy or you frizzy. Say gunk? Did you just say gunk in your hair? Yeah, like gunky it feels gunky, but like all that grease feels gunky. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. To, I don't know how else to explain it. But I love the summer, even though I'm a winter baby. I was born in the winter. I came from the ice. Um, I just love the summer. But anyway, Euros. I can't lie. Did when you say it comes I came to, from the ice. I came from the ice like a White Walker fam. Come on, <laughs> yeah, you know that. You know that scene where the White Walker's turning the baby into like a. a baby oh yeah, yeah. Walker. When he put his thumb on it or something, isn't it? Yeah, that was my dad fam. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of saying the Azani, my he put he put a thumb. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Stop for I'm, I'm telling the wrong jokes today. Anyway. <clears throat> When it comes to international football, yeah. First of all, can I just say I hate international breaks? Yeah, when they're when they're during the season, I hate international football. Yeah, but when there's an international tournament, I love it. It's beautiful. The sun is shining. You know, most people I know are supporting England. Like you know, there's people, and I know maybe you're one of them. Yeah, people who live in England, 
and hate on the England national team just because, for no reason, yeah? Get out of my country. <laughs> Your country? <laughs> Get out of my country. You weren't even born here. <laughs> yeah, I was you, waste, man. No, you weren't. Well, I was. I saw you born in Cardiff. You're an idiot. What? Cardiff first, real? yeah, but I would be born in like the United Kingdom anyway, or Great Britain or whatever. But I wasn't, I wasn't born in Cardiff. Who, who told you this? Who's, who's giving these false information, bro? I've never seen a sheep in my life. What are you talking about? Like, I don't understand this need to like not support England or be like the opposite of England. You know what I'm saying? Why? Some people just don't want to support England. Why? Why do you support England? Because I was born here. Okay. I like that sense of nationalism. You know what I mean, when it comes when it when it comes to football, when it when it comes to football, when I when it comes to other shit, I don't really care. Man. I don't really care. But, but I do actually. I do care about this country, but not to that extent. Right? But yeah, have you been watching the Euros? No, I swear there's only been two games. No, there's been like six. In fact, there's one on now. I think so. There's like a total of like nine. No, uh, seven games maybe. No, I haven't watched it. No, Did you? Oh, bro. Okay, on a serious note, yeah. No, no, but I saw about the Ericsson thing, though. Yeah, fam. Yesterday was one of the, like the most distressing, distressing things I've ever seen on TV. Because, bro, imagine the night before I didn't sleep in it. Uh, I was just awake the whole night. And so then, who are you lotioning? Your mom. Anyway. <laughs> How is she, by the way? <laughs> I'll check it. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, remember you started it. We were playing me and I were playing 21 questions. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was I was playing I'm for I message games with your girl. Okay. <laughs> she was good though. I lost. No, no, she's good. <laughs> she's scared. <laughs> well, you know what time I was playing I message games with someone, yeah, a friend, yeah. And then I was I don't know, I'm just sick at I'm you know the, the cup pong one. I don't know if you guys played the cup pong one, yeah. It's just easy, in it? You just got to, like, flick the thing, and that's it. Um, and then they were like, you're really good at this. You're a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Man said, whore. <laughs> Horror. <laughs> whore. But, yeah, no, no. I, I, we're actually talking about something serious, innit? So, like, so I was so tired, yeah. And then I went to work super early in the morning, came home. Like, I just, you know, the, you know the ones where you're, like, you. I, I don't really get this that much. When, I, when I'm tired, I, I just force myself through the day, innit? You know them ones where like your body is literally telling you just like go to sleep, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like no matter what situation you're you're in, it's like shutting your body down. Like your mind is shutting down, your body's shutting. Down. So I was super tired. So I, I took a nap in the heat, and then I, you know the ones where you wake up hella confused in it. Yeah. So I woke up hella confused. Saw the game was on. I went went to see the game. Yeah. All I see is Ericsson drop. Yeah. And then I'm thinking he got fouled or something and something like that. But, but bro. They zoomed into his face, slumped. Like I see him slumped on the floor, and knocked out, and I'm like, "Oh shit, that looks bad." And there's like f- the Finland players around him, and the Denmark players around him, like with their heads in their hands. And I'm thinking, "Yo, this is this is this is bad, isn't it?" So then I'm watching it, and it's like for for like five minutes, and and like the the thing is, they they they're not cutting away from it. They're showing like the players around him, people res- you can see them resuscitating him in the background, doing CPR, defibrillator, and all that stuff. Yeah. And the longer it goes on, and you and you're not hearing anything, you're not saying, like, nobody's saying what's happening yet. The longer it, go, it goes on, yeah. Well, I, I, I thought he passed away, and I, I thought I saw that in it, and I was like, I can't lie, uh, it, it sounds kind of weird in it, but I teared up because I was just like, damn, I feel like I just saw a, a, a player die on the pitch, fam. I've never, I've never seen that before in my life. Do you know what I mean? It's so distressing. And bro, it wasn't like two minutes or three minutes; it was a whole eighteen minutes. And then bro. after, after that, like after they finally cut away from it, even then we didn't know what happened to him. He made it though, all right? Yeah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. Like the, they, uh, I think the Danish doctor said that like it was because of the defibrillator. I can't even say that word. Defibrillator. The defibrillator. The defibrillator. Yeah. After after the first charge or something, like he, apparently before the first charge, he was gone. Like he He's literally dead. left. Yeah, he was gone. There. And the the, the man said he was gone. No, bro. Wallahi, the quote. Yeah, the guy said he was gone. And they brought him back by giving him a charge. That's but mad. luckily, he came back from the first charge. Uh, Fabrice Mwamba, I remember we was at um, we were at Alpha. We were training. We had a, we had training one day, and then like I think it was Sharky. He went to go check his phone. Yeah, and all we see is that like, Mwamba it was died for like for whole seven minutes, bro. Like his heart <laughs> stopped beating for seven minutes. This player called Fabrice Mwamba. He played for Bolton or Fulham. I can't remember one of those white teams in it. 
and he, he his heart stopped beating for seven minutes and then and then after we finished changing everything then the news came out again that the doctors that like, they wouldn't let him go they just kept like charging him charging him charging him charging him and they brought him back after seven minutes from of his heart being stopped for seven minutes do you know what I mean but bro Ericsson's 29 years old man it's just like what caused it do you know just what cardiac is? arrest just cardiac arrest heart attack on the pitch mm. And like he obviously, I don't have to guarantee it because we all know it's is is most probably true. Yeah, he's fitter than all of us. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Peak yeah. peak condition. It's well, probably he's, what like he's probably what um helped him survive, isn't it? Yeah, and and his his captain, uh, I don't know, I don't know how to his name Simon Chiaro or something like that. His captain, he put him into like the recovery position straight away. He um uh, he moved his tongue from his airways and stuff like that, so he, he wouldn't sl- swallow his own tongue. Um, he started the CPR before the doctors came, so they were saying that like his captain probably like helped save his life That's just mad. by just by being quick witted, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. And people were saying that obviously, and I agree with this actually, because it was it was something else I was thinking of. You know when I was saying like, oh, it's crazy how like sign language isn't like a compulsory language in school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like everyone should learn that, innit? I feel like. We I remember us doing an assembly on like CPR and recovery position and stuff, yeah. But if you if you're honest, that that shit don't stick with you unless you like learn it. Do you know what I mean like yeah. one is one assembly is not gonna do anything? So I feel like they need to start making it a mandatory mandatory check every year in school until you like you know it for sure. Because ninety nine point nine 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 percent of the time you're not gonna need it, but that one zero 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 percent that you need it, you're it's so important, right? Like that's the most important thing in the world to be able to put someone in the recovery position, and to to you know, man, it's crazy. I agree, still, man. Prayers up for Ericsson, man. Yeah, yeah. He's he Facetimed the, the the team from the thing, and then they had to play as well the game, like an hour after as well. Uh, obviously, not him. He was in hospital, and 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 you you, you don't even know he might, might be his end of his career. Uh, yeah, I, like this this one guy that I was playing football with said that you know. Yeah, because if if it's like something to do with his heart, it could be the like a fear of his heart being faulty and like you don't know when else it could stop. Yeah, yeah, that sort of thing. That's mad. That's mad. It's really like humbling in it like that. Like life, you could be doing anything, yeah. and then like that, it's over. Do you know what I mean? Speaking of things being over, nine's got arrested. I saw that. What do you get arrested for? Uh, I don't know. Oh, do we not know? What you don't want to say? No, I don't want to say. <laughs> do you know it's common knowledge, isn't it? Like, it's out there. Like, like... Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I was asking because I genuinely didn't know, but I think I know what you're talking about. So we'll, we'll, we'll go on without it being said. So he got, and I can say it, like, it's obviously it's in the news and that, isn't it? Yeah. So uh, he, apparently he got arrested on uh, drugs charges. I feel like I've I've told you how I feel about this, isn't it? Yes, which is first of all, obviously I hope because it you know it is it is someone from ends, and I'm gonna piss off two sets of people with this. That's the that's the annoying thing about this. I'm gonna sell, piss off. I'm gonna piss off like people who are on the road, and I'm gonna piss off people who who are conservative, like the conservative people. You know what I mean? Like the, the hella strict people in it. Because mm-hmm. number one, I think, like, what you have to understand is that, like, when it comes to selling drugs, yeah, you can say everybody has their own, like, agency in it. Like, ultimately, you make your own decisions, right? But when it comes to things like, you know, like, selling drugs and stuff, you can say, yeah, oh, yeah, what are those people doing, blah, blah, blah. But there's there's this guy, like, a sociologist called, like, Cohen. I think his name is Cohen. I think Cohen Natal. Cohen. Yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm Cohen, just joking. I'm, I don't know, fam. <laughs> I think I think it's Cohen in it. He's talking about like something about like the the inequality of opportunities or something something like that in it. It's like like for example, if you grow up in a certain place, yeah, your opportunities like your your pathway is like going to school, go college, go uni, get a job. If you if you if you live in a certain area or a neighborhood, you have another pathway presented to you, like systematically, but also by others who have like shown you there's a way to be successful without being discriminated against or there's a way to be successful where it's a bit more a bit more fair like i'm not saying obviously 
we all know the realities of like drug dealing and all that stuff yeah there's nothing fair about that that world at all do you know what i mean but when they look at like how the school system is treating them or like the the legal system is treating them there's a, a lot of working class people or people who come from certain areas will be like well this area is 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 better for me this pathway is better for me and at the end of the day i'm i guarantee you lord sugar and and nines look at themselves in the same way as as a businessman do you know what i mean they just took different yeah. pathways and obviously their pathways yeah. are very very different you know what i mean but yeah, at the yeah, end yeah. of the day they both look at themselves as businessmen and by the way i'm not condoning certain drugs in it we all know the the dangers of selling drugs both to the people who, both to the kids who are selling it and the people who are are like being sold to in it um and i personally would never do it and and like then on the other side of it, I just see, like, for example, nines, yeah? I feel like I'm going to piss people off, but the thing is, he's a, rap- he's a rapper now, right? Uh, obviously, he was doing what he's doing before, but he's continued doing what he's doing after being a rapper and after making money from rapping. And now I can't judge because, I can't really judge because I've never been in that situation, in either situation. I'm not a rapper. And I'm not a trapper, do you know what I mean? And I've yeah. never been in that situation where I would have done even. <laughs> my parents are hella religious, so I wouldn't have done music. And my parents are hella overprotective. So even when I lived in dodgy areas, I never experienced what these people experience. So I've ne- again, I can't talk too much in it. But I just think like, uh, when, you, when you become a musician and other opportunities that were never there to you in the beginning, when they arise, the sensible thing to do is to leave that other life behind. And 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 make it out of the hood. Do you know what I mean? Rather than, you know, but it's it's one of those things that I can't. That's that's my opinion. But what is my point of view if I've never been in that situation? I like it's, it's bro. Like it's it's like I I hear that. I do understand. I agree. I can't lie. I do agree. But I disagree with people. Like oh yeah, that nines you let us down. Where where like what these people saying? That like I I I do think without being harsh, I think he's letting. Let himself down just a little. Do you know I mean, I know obviously. Listen to his music. Yeah, I know. Like, what, I, what was I, his, What does he talk about? I How, know. Bro, I in know, every single like, mixtape album, he said, "Yeah, I'm a." He probably said, "I'm a. I'm a trapper who raps." I know, but e- even in that sense, I feel like he's let himself down and his people down just a little bit. Do you know what I mean, I, at least I, I feel like bit. he let himself down more than anything. But his people, like, it's, then they shouldn't really condone him what he's rapping about. Then you can you can rap about your struggles. To leave, that's what I'm saying. I feel like he's rapping about it, maybe to tell his story, which is fine. But I think the ultimate aim should be to rap about it to leave that, leave that. So I mean, but again, as I'm saying, I'm, I'm I've never been in either of these situations, so I don't I don't really want to talk too much. But the way I see it is like uh, for a lot, like for example, you know when people come hard on on drill rappers, isn't it? Even yeah. when it, even back when it started in Chicago, drill was the best ever thing for them. Because yeah, you can say they were glamorizing what they were doing, yeah. But really, Look a at lot Chief of them, Keith. a lot of them got opportunities to get themselves yeah. out of the situation. Exactly. Chief Keith is doing amazing right now. You know what I'm saying, I mean, bro? Look at Little Doug, bro. Little Doug is one of the hottest artists right now. Yeah, these you know these I mean? people are able to, and, and people will say like, oh, instead of rapping about it, why don't you do the something legit? Da, 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 da. They don't have those opportunities, and now they've made music and they've created their own opportunities, and that's why I think. You know, rappers after they make their own opportunities, they should start leaning more to those legit opportunities that they've kind of paved their way for. I can understand it's more like a it's a conditioning thing, and if you've done something your whole life, probably a bit hard to leave in it, especially when it comes with benefits. You know what I mean? Yeah. In terms of like financial benefits, and even in certain in in a lot of areas like res- respect. You know what I mean? But what do I know, Jamie? I'm just, I just, I just don't. I just the people are criticizing. Uh, they're looking at Nines as a rapper. He's not a, like you know what I'm saying. He's he's something else. You know what I mean? You 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 would know more than me in it because I don't. You know that's not really my expertise in it. But that's not his uh, his main profession. You know. It's 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 it's, it's sad to see though because in my opinion that's it is what, sad that's, to see. That's, that's, that's what music is for in it to to like it is sad to see. make it out but, of that. Yeah. I can't lie, he's one of my favorite artists, bro. I can't lie, like he's see like oh, well, I don't have Spotify anymore. I got Apple Music, yeah. Mm-hmm. See, like um, when Spotify used to do that, um, Spotify rap. Yeah, the rap. Yeah. Nine's always been on the top for me. For his gigs, no? No, I didn't gigs. Damn, you need to go into a Nine's boat party then next time. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, I hope everyone. 
makes our situations all like troubling, you know. Uh, I agree. I agree. Goodbye. We'll be back. <laughs> no, no, no. Let's just round up at least. Enjoy yeah. the Euros. Let us know in the comments. I in the, um yeah, just let us know. Let us know. You know what? Yeah, before we finish off, yeah, like just something Euro Euro related. Yeah, John, do something like. We put our we put teams into a random randomizer or whatever, uh, and whatever team you get, that's your team. Whatever team I get, that's my team. And whoever team gets the furthest, wins basically. Wins what? What do you, what do you want it to be? Surely that has to be a forfeit. For the for the team that gets the furthest. No, for for the loser, obviously. All I can think of is shaving my head, but I'm not gonna do that. So no, 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 no. Um, makeup. So the loser, the winner, has to put makeup on the other person. Nah, nah, nah. That's the obvious, bro. I come from a very religious family. You think I'm? You think there's a picture or a video going up up there with me with makeup on? Um, you all right. The, the you winner, know winner, winner has to make a drink, a concoction, and the loser has to drink it. <laughs> concoction. <laughs> Well, you know, we'll think on it, yeah. How we might open it up to the towards the yeah, time. you know what? Yeah, let's 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 leave it to the audience. You know, we haven't done the Titan takes in a minute, you know. So I think that should be our Titan take. We'll leave it, we'll leave it up to the Titans. Oh, we we did get a little bit of Titan takes though. I asked well it wasn't a Titan take, I asked on my own personal Instagram and it, but who people think are gonna win the World Cup. Not the not the World Cup, the Euros. Um, let me have a look. Okay, so Said who you guys got for the Euros? Someone so what says, is Arsenal in the Euros? Yeah. <laughs> uh, someone said Scotland. Okay. Uh, my cousin's from Scotland, so that's why I'm guessing that's why he said Scotland in it. Because realistically, does anyone think Scotland are gonna win? I don't think so. Uh, someone said think. Sri Lanka. That was AB. Uh, Deep said Portugal. Mm-hmm. Uh, someone said, I'm here for peace. Get out of here. This is not a peace conference. Uh, <laughs> someone said, Turkey. Turkey got smoked 3 0 in the first game of the tournament. Uh, but I still think they'll do okay. But I don't know if they'll against, win it, against Italy, are they? Yeah, it's, Italy are sick. Italy are sick. My guy, Jorginho, J5. Uh, someone said, Italy and Portugal. Uh, someone said, France and England. Someone said, France only. And then another person said France. I feel like France are obviously the favourites, but they're going through a bit of a argument right now. They're arguing with each other. What is it? You know how Benzema was like banned from the team for like that scandal, wasn't it? it I swear, what is, did he did he really like have a sex tape of his like one of his teammates? He his yeah, as in like what he says is that like someone contacted him saying, "Yo, I got a a sex tape of your boy Valbuena from the national team." Like warn him because I'm gonna think I'm gonna release it. So yeah, but, uh, he he was told like, oh, I've got sex up of your boy. Um, warn him. I don't know. Go watch the documentary if you guys are interested in it. It's, it's the Benzema documentary on Netflix, and you can go watch that. It's too long to go into. I can't. I can't remember. It. I watched it a long time ago. Um, so he wasn't in the French team for a long time. Uh, and you know Mbappe. Mbappe loves him in it because mm-hmm. Mbappe loves all the like the Arab and the the black French players in it. Like me, that, I'm not gonna lie. That's the players, the Muslim players. That's the ones I like in in the French team, innit? Yeah. Because uh, other than that, like other than the ones that play for Chelsea, I'm not a big fan of France, innit? But well, I used to be, but you know. Yeah. Fuck the French. Their, their president or their prime minister, or whatever, has got slapped. <laughs> My like macaroon, you know. My like macaroon. Uh, for legal reasons, we do not condone uh, violence towards uh, elected officials. I do. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Giroud, Giroud after winning the Champions League he joined the, the team a little bit late Benzema came back uh, and apparently uh, in the game basically no one was passing to Giroud and after it was in the interview he was like oh you know we could have scored more goals he scored two goals anyway he was like we could have scored more goals if, if the passes came a bit quicker and if people were actually making the passes and the next day Mbappe gets pissed and tries to call a press conference uh, like trying to cuss out Giroud and now apparently there's just beef in it Apparently, Drew tried to squash it, and then Mbappe was just getting emotional. You know I mean, I well, can't lie. I'm, I'm obviously, I'm backing Drew in it because there's a Chelsea player, and also, I can, from what I can see in the whole like 
report and everything, the others are being a bit like uh they're, they're acting like tarts, man. Yeah, yeah. It's always it's always that French team always have like some weird problem in the camp. Last time they a lot bare of them refused to play the play football. Why? In the World Cup, I can't remember. They did send out the manager or some shit, so they just like refused to play some games. So they had to play like the reserves or some shit. <sighs> Fucking French. Right. It's whatever. Like. Anyway. Do you know when I knew the French were tactical? When they had that, when they put the baguettes under the armpits. Huh? They walk around with baguettes under the armpits, bro. Look here, hold on, I'll show you. I'll show you. Is this the truth? But are you lying to me? No, that's how they hold it. The... This is this how this is how the this is how they man hold their bread fab. Oh, you can't see. You'll be in the you it'll be it'll be in the video, it'll be in now. Well text it to me now so I can see it. Oh no, hold on, okay. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm having to uh, <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> wait, hold on. So I'm at. Oh my god! But, yeah. uh, fuck the French. Fuck macaroons. Good night. <laughs>